What couldn't be interpreted beforehand is becoming a part of our day-to-day -day lives thanks to artificial intelligence. If you've seen the series Snowpiercer, you would have noticed that seven years after the world becomes a frozen wasteland, the remnants of humanity have taken shelter on a perpetually moving luxury train. One such thought is being built. For the stakeholders, it is a dream. For the normal people, it is like a sci-fi movie turning into reality. Not virtual, augmented or mixed, but actuality. By including as many elements of artificial intelligence as possible, Saudi Arabia will see a tech city becoming a part of it, in the form of a neon megacity. Similar to how the people were living on a train that moves along a continuous line, the Neom City is also planned to be constructed this way, except it's steady. The most frequently heard statement about the city is that number of robots will exceed the human population living in Neom. Talk about fantasies coming to life, right? Aren't you excited to hear about the latest project? We know you are. Welcome and enjoy the line. The construction of the line started back in 2017, and it is still getting ready. The city is not extended to the general public yet. The Linear City is part of a huge development project planned by the Saudi Arabian government, Saudi Vision 2030. Saudi Arabia's economy is too dependent on its oil industry, which historically has promised growth, and led to the country now being the 18th largest economy in the world by gross domestic product. Saudi Arabia has the second largest oil reserves on the planet, while the oil industry is the backbone of the country. It has also been realized that there is a risk to the dependency. Therefore, the government is trying to look for other ways to boost the economy. As part of the Saudi Vision 2030 initiative, the country invests primarily in large infrastructure projects, scientific research, education, the healthcare system, and the tourism sector. The goal is to pave the way for new industries in which the focus is primarily on future technologies, such as renewable power, and this is a development that can be seen across the Arabian Peninsula, with nations starting ambitious future programs. Even if these initiatives differ from one another in terms of scope and objectives, what they have in common is that they include structural investments that are designed to expand the regional economy in new areas. So how are they planning to build a line? Instead of communities sprawling outward from a particular location, they would be constructing vertically and maintained well in a line, hence the name. Even though the vision for the city is almost 106 miles, it would halt the need for cars entirely and instead be connected by high-speed rail that would travel the entire length in just 20 minutes. And each community would be largely self-contained so that almost anything you could need is at a school. A doctor or a quick meal would be only a five-minute walk away. Stay with us till the end of this video if you want to learn about the different levels of this mega project. The Vision 2030 initiative of Saudi Arabia was announced in April 2016. The project is pushed forward by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the son of the Saudi ruler, King Salman. Despite officially being the Crown Prince and Minister of Defense, bin Salman is already regarded as the de facto leader of the country. The Lion City is part of perhaps the biggest project of this larger campaign initiated by bin Salman, Neom. Neom is being constructed in the Tabuk province of Saudi Arabia. Here, the government has set up a zone for the new city. The area is located on the Gulf of Aqaba and the Red Sea, with the Straits of Tehran connecting both. On the opposite side of the strait lies Sharm El Sheikh. This Egyptian city is economically completely geared towards tourism and is one of the most popular and expensive seaside resorts in Egypt. This success should now be duplicated on the other side of Neom. The two islands, Tehran and Sanafir, were historically disputed between Egypt and Saudi Arabia. While Egypt has controlled them in the past, the Egyptian parliament approved the transfer of these islands to Saudi Arabia in 2017. This agreement paved the way for a causeway that would connect the two countries. As part of the Neom project, a bridge is planned across the Tehran Strait. This would create a land connection from North Africa to the Arabian Peninsula, bypassing Israel. The city will have intelligent spaces and the popular invisible infrastructure. The site of this megacity is such that every major place city on Earth would be accessible from here with a single flight. Thus, to be accurate, Neom is ideally situated at the crossroads of the world. Evidently, a lot of thinking has been given to this location as this will pose as a potential trade center in the coming future. It will have the line as well, a more sustainable and fresh approach towards urbanization. According to Joseph Bradley, head of digital holding and technology, Neom is not about building a smart city. 
It is about constructing the first cognitive city, where world-class technology is powered with intelligence and data to interact seamlessly with its population. Neom has revealed plans for the world's largest coral reef restoration project. The Giga project has been announced to be part of the Crown Prince's vision of a greener Saudi Arabia. The Neom website claims that it will become the world's most self-sufficient city, and it sets out a vision for greenhouses and vertical farming. It would be revolutionary for a country that imports about 75% of its food currently. Moreover, the desalinization process of Neom will be powered by renewable energy and the brine rather than dumped back into the sea. It'll be used as raw material. Similar to the Snowpiercer having three compartments, the city will be structured on three different levels. On the bottom level, there will be a complete pedestrian zone without any roads and cars. Green parks should encourage walking and leisure activities. The second level should work as a service level, hosting shops and other commercial spaces. The lowest and the third level will be the spire of the city. This is where goods and people will transport across the city. The spine is supposed to connect several city modules with each other so that all activities and errands can be done by public transport and walking. The entire layout is designed around the region that many big cities of today are as a result of the Industrial Revolution. And as such, they were constructed more for cars, machines, and industry instead of the people that live in them. But whether a rigid line will result in a city that tailors more towards people's needs will remain to be seen. The line aims to reduce the need for personal cars and organize all of its services in a sustainable manner, as the city will be powered entirely by clean energy from solar, wind, and hydrogen-based power. In addition, AI is to be used to make the lives of residents easy and use resources more effectively. Well, with every project's upside, there would be also a downside. The project has been the subject of various controversies with the locals from the beginning. The line is part of Saudi's $500 billion Neom megacity project being constructed in the Tabuk province of the country. It is a divisive initiative that has already been agreed with controversy from time it began because around 20,000 people will be forced to relocate by its construction. Neo Megacity Project for one of the so-called virgin land that the government is constructing. Oman is unsurprisingly not all that virgin. It is the current and ancestral home for a lot of people, including people of the Hawata tribe, who are being forced from their homes for what many people see as a futuristic project that would not amount to much in reality. Those who have dared to speak out against the plans of the government or refuse to give up their homes have been abducted and harassed by Saudi security forces, arrested, or in some cases killed. According to Al Jazeera, a well-known Huwaitat activist was arrested and imprisoned in 2020 in accordance with the tribe's refusal to relocate. Another Huwaitat activist also spoke to the news organization that year that at least 15 other tribe members were abducted and put behind bars. Two of them were reportedly taken after criticizing the Neom project and the Saudi government on social media. The controversy surrounding Neom had compelled Riot Games to quickly take back its decision to enter a sponsorship agreement with the Megacity project. Neom was supposed to be a major partner for Riot's LEC Esports Championship in Europe two years ago until retaliation from fans caused the company to end the sponsorship deal a mere 24 hours later. Apart from the controversies, the line is expected to be loaded with cameras, countless sensors, and facial recognition technology that, in such a small space, could push government surveillance to almost unthinkable levels. The project is aimed at protecting Saudi Arabia's branch of its economy from its emphasis on oil, with the vision to make it the biggest crude exporter and an economic powerhouse of the world. The country is also planning to achieve net-zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2060. Saying that, we've come to the end of the episode. What do you think? Will the line, civilizations, and citizens be divided into classes? Or will it be a helpful community with a focus on helping each other? Do let us know your opinions in the comments section below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it still. We'll meet again with another exciting episode. And until then, goodbye.